it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. I have such an exciting project to do today. Um, it is Selena off the mat. So hopefully some of you guys, I'm sure, know exactly who she is. She's a beautiful singer. Um, and so it's in multiple layers. And you're gonna find that this happens whenever the character or the person has a lot of black in their, um, in the picture because with her hair being all black, I had to use black glitter cardstock, otherwise we were gonna really see the seams. So you can kinda of see here. So we've got multiple layers. Normally, the black is all one layer, but in this case, I needed a full black background layer just to put everything on top of it. Then we had all the colors, and then we also had her hair. So you can see we've got a lot of layers. This is gonna be a super long project, so stick with me. So let's start with the background. I'm gonna put this away. Okay, so I've already, I'm gonna take this off so you can see, and I'm gonna take her face off so that we're dealing with just the background. So right now the background's pretty simple. I'm gonna slide this off. So this is front side up, and so you know, we're gonna tape it. In this case, because, um, you know what, I still don't like it. I was gonna say in this case, we really shouldn't have to worry about the tape showing if we taped front side up, but there are gonna be some small areas that it may peek through, and I don't want that to that, of course, it's always gonna happen. It's the, the little section that comes through that's gonna show. So let's not do that. So what we wanna do is we wanna flip everything over. And I have to do it this way because I'm so bad at doing this. If I don't do it this way, I'm going to tape in the wrong place, always. Okay, so I flipped it over backwards. What you wanna do is you wanna take two pieces at a time and just using regular scotch tape, we're gonna tape this up. So I'm gonna lift one side up, push it against the other one, and then tape down. Now, I normally use 65 pound cardstock for the black background, but today, because the cardstock was on sale and I grabbed it without realizing it. Uh, this is 110 pound cardstock from Joann's. It was in a big pack that was on sale. And I gotta say, the one thing that I did notice is that it's a solid core. So when you cut through the middle, you don't see any color, it's all black. So that's nice. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Let's do the bottom row that you can now see. So I get a lot of questions. Is this not right? Did I not flip? See, I didn't flip it. <laughs> like, wait a minute. My stuff always lines up. What the heck is going on? Um, that's, <laughs> so you saw what just happened right there. I forgot to flip this one over, but I knew because um, when we do our grid in design space where we, put all our squares flushed and up against each other, it gives us these nice four corners. And so they butt up against each other and it just makes for a more seamless project. And then also you know exactly where something goes. Um, and I lost my train of thought what I was gonna tell you earlier. Okay. Hopefully it'll come back to me. <sighs> And you wanna tape the edges down here too. Cause that's where you, that's where none of the colors sit on top. This one is different. This one, you'll see that the, the, the colored outline over here, everything fits on top. So there's no um, black outline that we usually see in these characters. Cause this one's a little bit different. We had a hard time finding a good SVG file. And in fact, the customer ordered this from so many different people and it was a really complicated file still but this was the best one so I'm gonna be doing the design space tutorial after because I always like to have it done 
to make any adjustments. Okay, so this is now down. Let's move this down. Let's do these pieces up here. Oh, so this, oh, this is what I was going to say. Um, she is 26 inches. I could not make her any bigger without her face getting messed up. So, and her face is so pretty. It's the central piece. Um, I never want to do a seam down the face because you just can't stop looking at it. <laughs> no matter how amazing everything else is, it's really distracting. It really comes through in pictures as well. So it's just not worth it. I mean, I'll show you later too. Uh, my post today on Instagram is actually about sizing. So I have a Jasmine, if you guys remember from a while ago that I did, I was determined to make her big. So it wasn't that I didn't, I knew it was gonna be bad, but I wanted to see how bad and I wanted to do it anyway, just to make sure that I could do it. So. I made Jasmine 60 inches. I'm 62 inches. So, oh no, she, I made her 61 inches. I couldn't make her 62 because of the face again. And that's where I drew the line. So I made her 62 inches, 61, sorry. And all right, so we're gonna flip it over. And it was a horrible experience. There were so many seams. And then I made another princess, uh, many princesses at 48 inches. And honestly, if I've never shown you the 60 inch, 61 inch one, the 48, eight, the 48 inch one is amazing. It's seamless, it looks awesome. You just don't need to make it bigger because no one's gonna know that it it could have been made bigger, but it would have more mistakes. All right, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> all right, so we have it all taped up. Now we're gonna start putting pieces on top. All right, actually, let's do her face. I wanna talk about the face. So I don't know exactly where her face is gonna go, but you see these seams right here, right? And you also see she has seams running down the eyes and the mouth. So, or open spaces where you the seams could come through. So I always like to make a duplicate copy of the face. Then I go into, I select contour, and I contour out all these pieces. So I have a solid, a solid, let me see if I can put it over here, a solid black copy of the face so that this is gonna go on top like this. So any seams that would have come through is no longer gonna come through because I have my own solid black piece and it's gonna sit like this. So it doesn't matter if it's sitting on a seam or not, you're not gonna see it. So that's really important because the face is the focal point and you just can't help but look there. And so if there are seams, it's really distracting. So anyway, Every character, I want to see you guys do that. <laughs> okay, so the face is super easy because um, a couple of things. The other thing I did in Design Space is it had, so the white was actually in three pieces, right? And I hate dealing with small pieces and keeping track of them and then trying to glue it down perfectly. So instead what I did was I welded them together and instead made the black sit on top. Originally the design had it that the black was behind and then the three white pieces go on top. So I switched it around to make it like this. And this is so much easier to put together, right? And then it covers the eye completely and you just stick it down. It's so, I mean, these are little things for the big projects with so many steps. Um, these little tips and tricks totally make it worth it because same thing with this piece. This piece had three white pieces so I did the same thing. I flipped the order so that the white can be one piece and then the black sits on top. All right, so knowing that, um, I am actually going to, because this is glitter on glitter, I am actually gonna use my Beacon 3-in-1. So what's funny is I had made a claim that I had a favorite glue and uh, I mean, I'm so thankful that you guys tell me when you think I'm not right. <laughs> so someone popped on, well, a few people did, but someone that I trust, even though I've never met her, but we have a really good crafting friendship. Um, it's the Crafty Block if you wanna follow her. She makes amazing off the mat characters as well, and she's in Canada, but we always just like bounce ideas off of each other. So when she saw that, she said, hey, 
I just want to let you know I've been using Beacon 3-in-1 and I absolutely love it. So I said, all right, I'm going to go out and buy it. And sure enough, it is awesome because I'm really messy. And this one, even though I get it on my fingers, the way it dries, it's so awesome that I can handle this mess. This mess I can, I can deal with. It doesn't get everywhere. It doesn't stain my paper because the other glue, I would get it on my fingers and I'm wiping it on my clothes which some of you guys know, I work with Rent the Runway, so I don't really want glue on their clothes. <laughs> um, so anyway, so there you have it. So I got it on my fingers, but you know, the way it dries, it doesn't get on all my other stuff. So okay, so the eyes are down. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. In the meantime, the face. So I've used this be many times for Jasmine, for Queen Bee, the LOL doll. And I love this color because it's like tan and it's shimmery. Um, but if you use hot glue gun or anything, it will come through the paper. So I definitely want to use my Tombow um, glue runner. Did that come down at all? Oh my gosh, what is going on? Oh, there. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Why is this happening? Okay. I'm gonna try to work around this. There's something that's causing my tape to get crazy. Did I clean it? Let me see if I can clean this up a little bit. Okay. What is going on? It's like it's kind of working. Let me just clean my... I don't know what's going on. So I like using this because it really sticks when I can get it to work. I don't... I feel like I need to switch out my... I don't know. Something's sticking and so it's not coming out properly. Give me a second. Okay, I think I got it. No, I didn't. What the heck? Well, I'm worried if I flip out, if I put in a new cartridge that the, that my holder is the problem, then that won't help. <laughs> so let me clean my holder. I don't know if it's grabbing something. Is it doing that? Okay, so I have a lot of tape down. Okay, I think I finally, I think. No, a little bit. Okay, so, yeah. I don't know why I have glitter everywhere. Okay, so you just wanna put it down. That looks good. Okay, on this one, just make sure you have another sheet so that you don't get glue on your project or tape on your project. Okay, now it's working again. Thank goodness. Now, I usually have one of my Cricut tools to push in the corners just to make sure that my tape isn't sticking out because it will show it's clear, but it's gonna show against the black cardstock. So you just wanna kinda, of, it's like spider webbing. Okay, so you wanna put that down. And then here's her teeth. So her eyes are ready to go in. And for the eyes, I'm just gonna put this on. So 
Same thing with this eye. And he, I mean, the other thing is this paper is really, really pretty, but it also shows any um, debris, so like glue, tape. So you just wanna make sure that you're really careful when you're using this. Okay, so here's her face looking so beautiful, seamless, nothing. There's not one thing wrong with this face. So we're gonna put it aside and put this aside. I am going to move this for now. And I move this over and I'm gonna leave it on here. So if you see the her black hair, we had to use black glitter cardstock because look at all the seams. This is big, so there's you know just not much I can do about it. It's just it is what it is. So what I want to do with the black is I'm gonna flip it around and tape it together so that these seams right here it won't pop up, right? Because that's gonna be distracting. So we need it to be taped together. So that's what we're gonna do first. So I'm gonna move this aside and I'm gonna pull off the black piece by piece. Okay. So that I don't mess up. But again, these pieces too, right? They match up, so it's not easy because <laughs> you're still gonna make a mistake. I do, at least. Okay, so I'm gonna tape, I want these, I want this to be really tight. So we've got that down. Mm. Oh, which piece next? I'm just, I know. I had, you know, I always have to piece these together to make sure that all my pieces cut and I'm not missing anything and everything is still working out the way I think it should. Okay. All right, so this piece goes right here. So you're really going to want to line this up perfectly. Oh. And you want to push up against the cardstock. I'm struggling right now. Because everything is balanced, is based on this piece working. So I'm going to hold this, get this down, because all these little slits I mean, luckily there's, you know, we still have a lot of options. All these little slits, we can just have them sit on top and I'll show you in a second. Um, and I welded this so that the black was all one piece, even though some parts, um, I'll show you why it, it's better for us to weld it, um, but it covered up some pieces, but it's okay because we're going to be able to fix that and make it look really good. that's down. I'm going to pick up these two pieces and put them together. And then her hoop earrings, instead of just making them, you know, glitter cardstock, we're going to put some gemstones on them, some rhinestones. So that'll look really pretty too. Okay. And then we're going all out for her because she was super sparkly and bigger than life, right? And this one, that client put so much effort into getting this file. So I wanna make it as perfect as possible. That 
this down. Now we only have two more black pieces. So it's this big one. <sighs> Let's see if I can match it up. Okay, so see, it's easy to match up when you have the pieces line up the way they're supposed to. Okay, so let's make sure this is completely lined up. And it's okay if you can't tape it completely um, because this is gonna be sitting down. We can tape the rest down. You wanna just make sure that it's just not flapping and catching any, um, any light with the seams. Like this piece is way too small. I'm not, I'm actually gonna try this glue. All right, let's see. I'm gonna hold it together. Oh man, it's gonna like glue itself to my board. I better pick it up. And that's not gonna work. I don't want it to glue to my board. Okay, so for the time being, we're gonna let that little piece slide. Maybe later we can stick under there like a glue dot or something. So we'll, I don't wanna rip this because it, all right. So now this goes with this up here. Okay. So it's starting to come together. It's gonna look so good. All right, so. On this one with so many pieces. Oh, you can't see with my face right there. Give me a second. I'm gonna see. There we go. So there are a lot of connection points on this one. What I would recommend is doing the two big ones. If you connect those two, then the rest will have to fall in line, so. And I'm not gonna tape that little part because I think we'll have the same issue, but we'll tape as much as we can and then we'll look at the end to see where we still need to um, stick some glue dots or glue on top or something. Okay, all right. So that's looking good. We only have one black piece left. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. This reminds me a lot of the Spider-Man one that I did. If you guys remember, that one had a, you know, he's got a lot of cutouts. Um, so the top layer we did was black, I think. And it kind of looked like this, so, but it looked really, really good because we were able to hide all the seams and he just looked amazing. Just like I hope she is because she looked really, really good just right off the mat. And that's always a good sign. Okay.
think that is as good as I'm going to be able to get it. So give me a second. I'm going to flip her over. Oh, we got one more spot. Okay. So still be really gentle. I mean, it is 300 GSM cardstock, but look at the difference. So, I mean, you can't see any of the seams down here. It's going to look so good. Okay. So let's bring back, give me just one second to get a board. So now I have the black on here. Okay. This is our black background. I'm going to put this on top. And what's great is you can see we know exactly where everything goes because this little um, peak right there that matches up. This this over here is going to match up. So sorry, I'm matching up where you can't see. Okay. So once we put her down, I'm debating what we should do right now. Let's just still put her together because I don't, there, there may be some parts where we might want the black to be on top, so I don't want to make any permanent mistakes right now. So let's put her face in so you can start to see this come alive. That's gonna be so pretty. Okay, um, so yeah, the other thing is, you'll see this in a second. So this is one big red piece. This goes this is a rose and it's going to have so many pieces. So I just welded everything so that this will go underneath like this. And that looks so good. <laughs> okay, this little guy is going to give me some trouble until we get it down. All right, so we've got that piece. We had another one that's similar to that. And it's this rose up here. So same thing with this one. I'm gonna stick this under. Where does that go? That does not look right. There we go. So again, right now we're just making sure that everything lines up. There. And once we tape down, this seam will not be so noticeable because it's catching light and that's why you see it. So, all right, so we've got that down. Okay. We have a seam right here, but you won't see it because we're gonna put this down. It's gonna look so good. This goes on this side. <laughs> I know it's still kind of big, even though it's not 30 inches. Um, where does this go? It goes like. She's looking beautiful. All right, so here we go. So right here, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but it should have been a whole slit for this gold piece to come through. But what I did is 
I welded it so that we wouldn't have multiple, we would have one big black piece. I didn't want it to be in multiple pieces. I mean, it is in multiple pieces because you can't, you, you need to slice it so that it fits on your cutting mat, but you also want to make it easy for yourself. So look at that. So she's going to cover up a little bit of a seam right here. It's going to, this is going to be taped down. We have a couple more pieces right here. So even though our black has some seams in it, with it being one glitter cardstock, two having other colors sitting on top of it is really, really going to help. Um, all right, let's see. Is there a little nut? And then, like I said, the earrings, I'm super excited about the earrings for some reason, because <laughs> I never use rhinestones, so I'm so excited. So this is what it, her earrings look like, because I still want, I don't want the black to show through, but I'm going to put the rhinestones on. So let me show you a few rhinestones to see if it even makes a difference. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to line them up. They're going to look awesome. And then let's, I'm going to put this all in and I don't think that I'm going to keep you on watching me do this because this is going to, this is a super long process with this piece being so complicated. But I'm going to finish putting this together so you can at least see what that looks like. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know where that goes. <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let me get all my pieces in place and then I'll give you a preview of what it looks like. Um, with this one, I would do the same thing, foam board, um, so that you can prop her up. But she's in a lot of layers. She should be super, super sturdy. And let me see if this will help me figure this out. Okay, here we go. I'm getting there, I promise. Um, this long piece goes here, framing her face. And then she's got a little brown. No, there. I know it's so hard to see too, but all you see is glitter. I feel like this really represents Selena. She's just so, she's so beautiful. these little pieces were gonna drive me crazy but they are long pieces so I felt like I was okay with, with all these little strands and it really makes to break up the piece otherwise it would have just been all black glitter cardstock so definitely I liked it it's just um, a lengthy a lengthy project okay we're almost there and I'll be able to show you in just a second where is this piece? I don't know. Um, okay, a few more. No. I'm telling you, puzzles. I really need help. I think that it um, strengthens your mind to do puzzles. So I, am I missing a few pieces here? I'm wondering if I drop some pieces. I'm holding on to, okay, so that piece is there. Um, I'm missing a, oh, this, no wonder I'm like, these are big pieces. Okay. So am I missing one? Cause I'm still holding on to this. Where would this go? I must have a piece out of place because this is clear. Oh, no. Let's see, she's got there, 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 up there. How is this? Okay. <laughs> I somehow have an extra wisp. I'm going to move this aside. 
I'm going to give you a preview of what she looks like. So again, this is not taped down yet, but I would say, I mean, it's already, I've got full lights on it and you don't really notice the seams, right? I mean, I can definitely point them out. It, the seam is right here. There's one running this whole line. But again, once I press down and tape it, you're not going to see it. The other seam is right here because it's popping up, right? But watch when I push it down, you're not going to really see that seam anymore. Um, so she looks, oh, I'm so happy with this. Um, oh, I thought I found the place where that, that piece went. All right, so I'm going to let you go because this is a super long process. But you see how sometimes the red and the rose, the red and the gold roses those are underneath right because there were so many pieces otherwise i would have had to do, deal with you know an extra 20 pieces that it would have taken me too long i wouldn't want to cut those pieces and then take them off the mat and then keep track of them and then glue them down right that makes it really really difficult so you want those wins where you can so that's with the eyes with the roses and all right I'm going to see you. Check out my Instagram for the final thing, all right? Thanks, guys.